One of our new type destroyers escorting a Pacific carrier force. Objective, the Philippine capital of Manila. On 5th November, the Navy films show planes of the 3rd Fleet preparing for a strike against Jap air and naval concentrations. Radio silence prevails, but last minute messages are delivered by a plane. The first planes take off at dawn. As daylight broadens, additional waves take off. Regarded as a major operation, the attack is Admiral William F. Halsey's answer to Japan's exaggerated claims of multiple sinkings of our carriers. It's an all-out effort to hasten victory on Leyte by knocking out the Jap supply funnel for the embattled area. Planes rendezvous preparatory to leaving for the target area. Hellcat fighters, Avenger torpedo planes, and Hell Diver bombers. Manila Bay, naval base for much of the shipping that supplies Japanese island outposts. Below are some of the enemy ships that fell victim to the smashing blows of our planes. In the background, Nichols Field in flames. A Jap cruiser is hit. Extending into its second day, the attack swells the toll of enemy ships sunk or damaged to about 30, including many cargo ships. Meanwhile, our task force meets an attack by land-based enemy planes. One of our escort carriers is hit. shot down in this action. A near miss by a Jap bomb. Another enemy bomb barely misses its target. One of our planes receives a direct hit. Similar damage occurs on another carrier. Planes from the Manila attack return to their carriers, ending one of the most destructive raids of the Philippine campaign. Among their targets were air installations on seven fields in the Manila area. 327 enemy planes were caught and destroyed on the ground. 113 shot down in the air. Funeral rites aboard a U.S. carrier for a rear gunner. Mutilation of his body by shell burst, plus damage to the plane result in a strange burial at sea. While patrols circle overhead, Gunner and plane end their manila bomb run together in the waters of the Pacific. 